The Medieval Studies programme at King's covers a very, very wide range of subjects and disciplines. You can take a historical approach, a literary approach, a linguistic approach, a cultural approach. We also encourage students to study the medieval through the lenses of modern theory, whether that's gender theory or anthropology or the theories of material culture. I chose to go to King's because it's very centrally located. King's is within half an hour's walk of uh, more than 100,000 medieval manuscripts. What we do is we literally take you out of the classroom where we look at how the medieval city itself still affects the organisation and the ways in which people interact with the city today. We use the, the place that we're based in to use institutions like the British Museum, like uh, the British Library, like Senate House and other local repositories. King's historically has taught paleography, that is the study of the manuscript, since the 19th century. That means that students are going to have the opportunity to work with medieval manuscripts and develop skills in analysis, interpretation. You can uh, learn Latin at a beginner's, intermediate and advanced level. I learn medieval Latin as well as medieval Greek here. Ages of Medieval London has an innovative range of assessments, so we ask students, for example, to design a virtual exhibition or to undertake a statue audit. So you'll be producing podcasts, you'll be making presentations. Students have gone on to work in finance, in media, in publishing, law, digital culture, archives and heritage, as well as academia. The medieval studies is inherently challenging and involves imagination and articulation, and these are skills which are highly transferable in the workplace. All of my lecturers were experts in their field and were incredibly kind with sharing their time and expertise with us. Also outside the classroom, they regularly check in with me. The future of medieval studies is global, is digital, is more diverse than hitherto, I think, and we're challenging some of the assumptions that drove medieval studies in the, in the 20th century.